Now, you find yourself somewhere that resembles paradise, say a white sandy beach or the romantic views and a glass of wine at a vineyard, perhaps. You reach for your phone to take a picture, and whilst you're at it, you check your work emails. And the next thing you know, you're in a back and forth with your boss, who's thousands of miles away. Well, it actually doesn't sound very relaxing, does it? Well, many people feel it's part of their job now to work while they're on holiday. A poll last year showing that one in three Americans checked work calls, texts and emails during their vacations. But get this, if you don't give yourself a recovery period, your performance levels will actually go down significantly. Let's talk to Michelle Geelan now, who joins me now from Dallas. She is a positive psychology researcher and author of Broadcasting Happiness. Good to have you with us, uh, Michelle. It seems an obvious place to start, but with vacations on decline, why is it so important that we all have a holiday? Well, we need to strategically recharge, because otherwise we're not getting the benefits of the vacation at all. I mean, you can be sitting on a beach, but if we're doing what you're talking about, checking that email, then we're never giving our brains a mental break to get away from the office, to stop thinking about our boss, about projects, and really, really rest to recharge. So why do you think it is that many Americans are not taking a vacation at all? Well, it's astonishing. So we did a survey with the U.S. Travel Association and Project Time Off, and we surveyed more than 5,600 American adults who are averaging about 35 hours per week or more, and they get paid time off as part of their benefits. We found that on average from 2000 to 2015, in just a decade and a half, Americans are leaving more than a week's worth of vacation on the table, and yet those are the exact things that we need to recharge. Um, we found that people who took 11 or more vacation days as opposed to 10 or less were 30% more likely to get a raise over the next year when they got back to work. So taking those vacation days can make a huge difference on our performance when we, re we return. Now, Michelle, this is all very good news for me, particularly the bit about the raise, <laughs> because in about 10 minutes time, I will officially be on holiday for two weeks. Excellent. <laughs> what is your top tip for me? How can I relax and recharge and disconnect, I guess, from, from my everyday life? Okay, so I love that you're going on vacation. I'll probably see you there, hopefully. <laughs> um, I would say that it's not just about taking a physical break, it's about taking a mental break. So decide what the parameters of your vacation are going to be before you go. What fun things are you going to do? How are you going to bring yourself joy through the activities that you're focusing on or the books you're reading? And then decide about uh, the rules for you know, your, how you're going to engage with technology. Don't check your email if you can. I mean, do everything you can to really unplug and put those work topics aside. That is the most uh, crucial thing I think you've said. I'm holding my phone, which I am completely addicted <laughs> to. And I've <laughs> been thinking about not having my phone on me at all. But the problem is, Michelle, it's also my alarm. It's got my music on it. And I take my photos on my phone. I'm just worried that I just won't be able to help myself in terms of checking my emails. Is it really important yeah. not to? It really is. It's too bad our phones can't taser us if we open up the email function. Um, but one thing I did was I put the camera and all the very good apps, you know, the ones that bring me joy, like my journaling app on the home screen. And then I moved all the work apps and even social media actually to another screen so I wouldn't fall into the trap of clicking on that envelope and then reading my emails for half an hour. Okay, there are a few emails to send and one very important thing to do before I leave the BBC, and that is setting my out of office. Is there something yeah. I should be saying there? Yeah, so I took this opportunity this summer and I got great feedback from friends and, and colleagues. Uh, I wrote something like, our research has shown that vacations are actually good for your performance, so it's time to do more research. I'll be out of the office until X date. If you need something immediately, contact my colleague. The thing is, when you set up an, a, a really um, you know, meaningful out of office that says what you're really trying to accomplish with your vacation, then you cannot then immediately respond to work emails and hold you accountable. Michelle, great to see you. Thanks for the tips. I am off to do some research on happiness. See you again in a few weeks. Bye-bye.